Magandang araw po sa ating lahat na imbag ngal daw kanya ito amin. Mag-solve naman po tayo ngayon ng mga simple problems about three-phase transformers. May mga nakikita tayong tatlong transformers na magkakasama sa isang poste. Madalas na nakikita natin ang gaya nito sa labas ng mga buildings, fast foods, hotels, etc. Ang mga installation na ito ay connected in three-phase. Even sa mga substations ng power plants, NGCP at mga distribution companies, makikita din natin ang mga three-phase transformers. When transformers are required to handle considerable amount of power, they are grouped together in banks para sa polyphase service. Dahil alam naman natin na mas efficient ang mga three-phase system compared with single phase kung generation, transmission at distribution ang pinag-uusapan. Even on several equipment na meron tayo, maraming pagkakataon na mas efficient gumamit ng mga three-phase compared with single phase. At the same time, kung mataas ang power requirement gaya sa mga industries, buildings, malls, sa ilang fast foods or iba pa, three-phase ang ginagamit dyan. Minsan kahit ang ilang school, lalo na kung madaming aircon at equipment ang nakalagay, baka kailangan na ng three-phase power system. Pero sa mga residential, typically single phase po ang ginagamit natin. Minsan nakakakita din tayo ng dalawang transformers na magkasama sa mga poste. May tinatawag tayong open delta connection pero next time natin pag-usapan yon. Of course, saka natin pwedeng sabihin na three-phase system ang connection nito if they are really connected with each other. And also kung pare-pareho sila ng rating or identical silang lahat. Kasi may nakikita tayong dalawang transformers na magkasama nga sa isang poste pero hindi naman sila connected with each other for three-phase operation. Halimbawa, yung isang transformer rated 10 kV amperes at yung isa naman 25 kV amperes. Tapos hindi naman sila connected dun sa isa't isa. Lalo't hindi sila identical, therefore hindi sila connected for three-phase operation. Anyway, sa tatlong transformer, three-phase muna tayo. Next time po natin pag-usapan yung open delta. Meron tayong apat na klase ng connections dito para sa primary and secondary windings nila. Merong delta delta, delta y, or delta star. Meron ding Y Delta and meron tayong YY or Star Star Connection. Let's review the characteristics of the line voltage and current compared with the phase voltage and current ng dalawang connections dito. Dito sa Delta Connection, ang line voltage sa yung phase voltage ay equal. Habang relationship ng phase current tapos yung line current, phase current equals the line current divided by square root of 3. Mas mababa po yung value ng phase current dito sa delta compared dun sa line current. Dito naman po sa Y connection, phase voltage equals the line voltage divided by square root of 3. Habang ang line current at phase current ay equal. Another thing na kailangan natin i-consider dito ay ang turns ratio ng transformer. Sa relationship ng volt per turn sa mga transformers, ang volt per turn ng primary ay equal dun sa volt per turn ng secondary. Cross multiply itong secondary voltage dito sa kabila at ang number of turns naman sa primary cross multiply natin dito sa kabila upang makuha natin yung value ng turns ratio ng primary sa ka secondary which is related dun sa primary and secondary voltage. Ibig sabihin pwede natin makuha yung value ng turns ratio with respect to the number of turns of the primary divided by the number of turns in the secondary or pwede rin naman natin kunin yung value nito by dividing the primary voltage with the secondary voltage. Wag lang po tayong malilito from our previous lessons because from our previous lessons meron tayong EP, VP tapos yung ES saka VS. Ngunit dito po VP saka VS ang gagamitin natin. Take note po approximate values pa rin po ang kinu-compute natin dito. Let's proceed with sample problems. Unahin po muna natin dito sa delta delta configuration or connection. Ang arrangement na ito ay generally used sa mga systems where the voltages are not very high. Suitable ito sa mga installations wherein kinakailangan ng large pero low voltage transformers kung saan ang transformer ay kinakailangan mag-carry ng large current on low voltage. Ginagamit din ang delta-delta especially kapag ang continuity of service is to be maintained kahit magkaroon ng fault sa isang phase nito. Kapag may fault sa isang phase nito, magiging open delta ang connection dito. Although ang connection na ito ay hindi common pero ginagamit ito in some industrial facilities. Now let's proceed with sample problems. For problem number 1, three 25 kV amperes transformer are connected delta delta. What total rated kV amperes can the bank deliver? 
Ang hinahanap ko dito ay yung total rated na kilovolt amperes na pwedeng ma-deliver nung transformer bank na ito. Ang formula na gagamitin natin para dito is 3 times the volt ampere rating of one transformer. Since identical naman silang lahat. Ang rating ng bawat transformer ay 25 kilovolt amperes. Substitute po natin 3 times 25 kilovolt amperes. Ang total kilovolt amperes na pwedeng ma-deliver ng transformer bank na ito ay 75 kilovolt amperes. May mga installations where in 50 kilovolt amperes ang bawat transformer so ibig sabihin merong 150 kilovolt amperes na pwedeng makuha doon. Although pwede namang mag-install ng 150 kilovolt amperes na isang transformer lang pero papaano kapag kinakailangan natin ng three-phase system. Gaya din po dito sa problem natin na yes, pwede tayo maka-acquire ng 75 kilovolt amperes na single phase pero dito sa problem kasi natin, kinakailangan kasi ng three-phase system at hindi single phase. Dito naman po tayo sa next problem, a 3 phase 150 kilovolt amperes, 4160 volts, 0.8 lagging power factor is to be supplied by 3 single phase transformers having a turns ratio of 2. Calculate the current that flows in the primary windings if the transformers are connected delta delta. So meron tayong delta delta configuration. Yung load sa may secondary ay 150 kilovolt amperes. Ang line voltage sa may secondary is 4160 volts. At ang power factor nito ay 0.8 lagging. Ang phase current ng primary ang hinahanap po natin dito. Take note na ang volt ampere ng primary at secondary ay equal. That's 150 kilovolt amperes. Delta ang connection ng primary sa kasecondary kaya ang phase voltage at line voltage nito ay equal. Since primary phase current ang hinahanap natin dito, kunin po muna natin yung line voltage ng primary using this formula. Cross multiply natin itong secondary voltage dito sa kabila. Ibig sabihin meron tayong turns ratio times the secondary voltage equals to the primary voltage. Ang turns ratio natin ay 2 at ang secondary voltage naman po natin ay 4160 volts. Substitute po natin yan. 2 times 4160 volts. This is 8320 volts. To determine the line current, kinakailangan natin itong formula na ito. Napag-aralan na po ito dun sa three-phase system. Ang hinahanap po natin dito ay yung primary current. So, ibig sabihin yung voltage and yung current dito will be in terms of the primary. Cross multiply na po natin dito yung square root of 3 tapos yung primary voltage sa kabila. Therefore, the primary current equals the apparent power divided by square root of 3 and primary voltage. Substitute po natin yung mga values. Yung apparent power po natin ay 150 kilovolt amperes at yung primary voltage natin ay 8,320 volts. This will give us 10.409 amperes. Pero hindi pa po ito yung sagot natin dyan kasi ang hinahanap po natin ay yung phase current. Yung nakuha po natin dito na primary current ay ang line current pa lang po nito. Phase current po ang hinahanap natin dito. Ibig sabihin kailangan natin itong relationship ng phase current sa kanong line current. Substitute po natin yung value ng line current dito. We have 10.409 amperes. Divide this by square root of 3. Ang sagot po dito ay 6.01 amperes. Next problem, a 3-phase 100 kilovolt amperes, 230 volts, 0.85 lagging power factor is to be supplied by 3 single-phase transformers having a turns ratio of 10. Calculate the current that flows in the primary windings if the transformers are connected in delta-delta. Again po, ang hinahanap po natin dito ay yung phase current dun sa may primary winding. Take note, meron tayong delta-delta connection. So, ibig sabihin, ang line voltage ay equal dun sa phase voltage. Kunin po muna natin yung primary voltage using this formula. Turns ratio natin ay 10 at yung secondary voltage ay 230 volts. 10 times 230 volts, this is 2300 volts. Na pwede na po natin i-substitute dito sa formula natin ng primary current. Ang apparent power or yung volt ampere dito ay 100 kilovolt amperes. Substitute po lang po natin, 100 kilovolt amperes divide this by square root of 3 and 2300 volts. This is equivalent to 25.102 amperes. Although ito po ay yung line current pa lamang po. Ibig sabihin, kinakailangan natin kunin yung phase current with the use of this formula. Substitute po natin yung values. 25.102 amperes divided this by square root of 3. Ang sagot po dito ay 14.493 amperes. Another way to solve this problem is analyzing the principle na nandito. Alam natin na ang EMF ay naiinduce sa may secondary winding Dahil merong relationship ito dito sa may primary winding. Halimbawa, i-consider po natin ang dalawang windings na ito dito sa may primary sa may secondary. 
since ang consideration naman po natin doon sa load natin ng 100 kV amperes ay balance po siya dito sa may bank natin. Kunin muna natin ang secondary phase current mula dito. Pero compute muna natin yung line current dito sa may secondary. Ang rated volt ampere ay 100 kV amperes at yung voltage sa may secondary ay 230 volts. 100 kV amperes divided by square root of 3 and 230 volts. This will give us 251.022 amperes. Using this value, kunin naman po natin yung phase current dito sa may secondary using this formula. 251.022 amperes divided this by square root of 3, meron tayong 144.928 amperes. Upang makuha natin yung primary phase current dito, balikan po natin yung ampere turn relationship ng transformers. Wherein ang ampere turn ng primary equals the ampere turn of the secondary. Cross multiply lang po natin itong number of turns sa secondary dito sa kabila. Take note, ang NP over NS, ito yung turns ratio natin. Ngayon, cross multiply natin itong turns ratio dito sa kabila. This will give us IS all over A. Pwede na po natin substitute itong phase current sa may secondary dito sa ating formula. At yung turns ratio natin, 144.928 amperes divided by 10. This is 14.493 amperes. Ito na po yung value ng phase current dun sa may primary which is equal dun sa sinol din po natin kanina. Dito naman tayo sa delta Y configuration. Isang application nito, ang connection na ito ay ginagamit for step-up voltage operation. Halimbawa, from power plant na 13.8 kV to 230 kV bago ipasa sa transmission corporation. Kung i-analyze natin, mas mababang induced EMF ang kailangan sa secondary phase winding nito kesa kung delta-delta ang gagamitin. Example, kung ang secondary voltage nito ay 230 kV at ang primary naman ay 13.8 kV. Meaning dito sa secondary side, ang per phase voltage nito ay magiging 230 kV divided by square root of 3, 132.791 kV na lang. Ang implication nito kung delta Y connection, mas konting turns ang kailangan sa secondary side nito. Dahil nga sa mas mababa na lang yung kinakailangang ma-induce na voltage per phase dito sa may Y connection. Another application ng delta Y is for step down, common in commercial, industrial, and high density residential locations. Sa secondary side din kasi nito, magkakaroon na ng provision ng neutral. Let's proceed with several examples. Number one example dito, what should be the turns ratio of a three-phase transformer to transform 10,000 kV amperes from 230 kV to 4,160 volts if the transformer is to be connected delta Y? I-analyze natin yung problem na ito, ito ay step-down transformer. Turns ratio ang kinakailangan nating hanapin dito. This is the formula for turns ratio in relation to the voltages in the primary and secondary windings. But let's understand na ang transformation ay nangyayari sa mga windings ng transformer so ang basis natin sa transformation ay sa phase voltage nito. Let's remember na sa delta connection ang line voltage sa phase voltage ay equal. Unlike dito sa Y connection, that's the line voltage divided by square root of 3. 200 kV pa rin ang phase voltage dito sa my primary since it is delta connected. At dito naman sa secondary side, the line voltage is 4,160 volts, divide this by square root of 3. Ang sagot dito ay 2,401.777 volts. Substituting these values dito sa ating formula, we have 230 kV, divide this by 2,401.777 volts. Ang sagot dito ay 95.762, and this could be rounded off to 96. Next problem, a balanced three-phase transformer bank has delta-connected primary and Y-connected secondary windings. The primary to secondary winding voltage ratio is 2,400 over 277. Solve for the primary line current if the low side, secondary load draws a line current of 1,000 amperes. Again, meron pa rin tayo dyang delta Y. Ang hinahanap po natin dito ay yung line current dito sa may primary side. We will base our solution sa turns ratio in relationship with the primary and secondary current. Ngunit ang magiging basis natin po para dito ay yung kanilang phase currents. Deriving this formula by cross multiplication, ito na ang magiging formula na gagamitin natin to determine the phase current of the primary. Solving for the value of its turns ratio, nandito na po yan, yung 2,400 over 277, this is equivalent to 8.664. Ito yung value na isasubstitute natin mamaya dito. Dito naman sa phase current ng secondary, pareho lang po siya dun sa may line current, that is 1,000 amperes. Pwede na po natin isubstitute yung mga values na yan. 
Dito po ay 1,000. Divide this by 8.664. Ang sagot po dito ay 115.420 amperes. Ngunit hindi pa po ito yung final answer natin kasi ang kinakailangan po natin dito ay yung line current dito sa may primary. When it comes to delta connection, ito po yung relationship ng phase current tapos yung line current. Deriving this formula, we will arrive at primary line current equals square root of 3 times the primary phase current. Substitute lang po natin yung value ng phase current. Square root of 3 times 115.420 amperes. Ang sagot po dito ay 199.913 amperes na pwedeng i-round off into 200 amperes. Next problem, three 5 is to 1 transformers are connected in delta Y to step up the voltage at the beginning of a 13,200 volt three-phase transmission line. Calculate the line voltage on the high side of the transformer. Ang connection pa rin po natin ay delta Y. Secondary line voltage ang hinahanap po dito. Meron po tayong step up transformer. Ang primary voltage nito ay 13,200 volts. Hanapin muna natin ang secondary phase voltage nito bago natin makuha yung line voltage dito sa may secondary. We will base our solution from this formula. Cross multiply lang po natin yung square root of 3 dito. So meron tayong line voltage equals square root of 3 times the phase voltage. Take note, this is a step up transformer. So ibig sabihin po, mas mataas po yung voltage dito sa may secondary compared dito sa may primary. So this is the low voltage side at ito naman po yung high voltage side. Meron siyang tinukoy na ratio dito na 5 is to 1. Meaning yung phase voltage po dito sa may secondary side is 5 times larger than the phase voltage in the primary side. That is 5 times 13,200 volts will give us 66,000 volts. At yung value na ito, substitute lang po natin dito sa formula natin. We have square root of 3 times 66,000 volts will give us 114,315.353 volts. Take note lang po yung mga solutions na gaya po neto. Ang basis po natin ay yung characteristics ng delta sa kaway pagdating dun sa voltage and current nila. Then wag din po natin kalimutan yung formula para dun sa ratio or transformation or turns ratio ng transformer. And also yung formula ng apparent power. Hanggang dito lang po muna yung discussion natin. Next meeting po, i-discuss naman po natin yung Y delta at yung YY connections. Hopefully meron tayong natutunan sa ngayon. Maraming salamat po. Magandang araw sa ating lahat na imbag na aldaw kanya tayo amin.